Hello and welcome to Catalyst of Change Consult. Like, subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you haven't done that. The basis of this tutorial is to understand the user interface of this software. How does the Quantum GIS interface work? The main element of the interface are as follows. The toolbar, the map canvas, the layer list, the status bar, and finally we have the browser area as well. The interface we will be seeing in about 3 seconds is a graphical view of the Quantum GIS and its features. The selected area at the top is what we call the toolbar. Someone might ask, what is the relevance of the toolbar? The toolbar contains sets of tools used for operating the software. For example, the Save toolbar is used to save existing works. It could be customized to contain tools which are often used. Features such as the Zoom in, Zoom out, Refresh and Open new file are all part of the toolbar. The whitish area which has been selected is what we call the Map Canvas. Map Canvas is where the map is displayed. Items within the layers list are also displayed in the map canvas. Also, the status bar show information about the current map. These information includes the coordinates of the mouse pointer. The status bar also helps to adjust the map scale. In the layers list, you would see the various layers of the vector or raster data available to you. This vector files are shape files for geographic features such as roads, water bodies, etc. Raster data also include Google Earth images and many other. Finally, the browser helps navigate the location of various files and saved items. Now if you're familiar with the interface shown and explained not long ago, the next tutorial would introduce to basic map making in Quantum GIS. Thank you for watching and be safe out there. We would also want to thank the entire faculty of Built Environment Students Society from KNUST.